Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Today we are going to study singular nouns. We are going to study singular nouns. Nouns can be singular, which means one, or plural, or more than one. When you are talking about one person, one animal, one place, or one thing, use a singular noun. Ship, a ship, owl, an owl, woman, a woman, train, a train, flower, a flower, and these are also singular nouns, airplane, an airplane, Bicycle, a bicycle, a boy, a bus, a comb, and then be silent, a girl, a key, a letter, a map, a photograph, a refrigerator, a slide, a swing, a van, and etc. Use a or on before singular nouns and then use on before words beginning with vowels such as a, e, e, o, u, x, an x, egg, an egg, envelope, an envelope, ice cream, an ice cream, igloo, an igloo, orange, an orange, umbrella, an umbrella, uncle, an uncle. So they are all starting with vowels. Vowels are a, e, e, o, u. But some words don't follow these rules. Some words don't follow these rules. For example, a, not an, before these words that begin with u. This is not an uniform, but a uniform, because this u sounds like y-o-u. When u sounds like y-o-u, uniform, use a instead of an. Here, if you read this, it sounds like university, correct? So you don't say on university, but a university. Use a before words beginning with other letters of the alphabet. They are called consonants. A, E, E, O, U. They are called vowels. And the rest of them, they are consonants. Here, basket, a basket, bowl, a bowl, car, a car, hill, a hill, house, a house, a rainbow, a monster, a pillow, a watch, a zoo. But some words don't follow these rules. For example, use on not a before these words that begin with eight so we know that house is who sound so we put a house but this word h is silent it sounds like air and then we use on because it's the vowel sound and this is honor honor so we put on on honor and our so h is silent so we say our and an hour so when we say a man and then there's another word honest it's it, it's an adjective but this h is silent so it sounds like honest so when you say man a man 
But when you use honest to describe men, H-O-N-E-S-T, honest men, you say unhonest men. Unhonest men. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.